Answer me, Teresa. Tell me that you were going to give up on the idea of that you and Ethan were meant to be together. I guess so. Do you really mean it this time? Because, you know, you have said it before, and something has always happened to make you get right back on that Ethan track again. No, I mean it, Whitney. I know that Ethan and I can never be together. It's over. Finally. <sighs> Luis is a great guy, but once he makes his mind up about someone, nothing anyone says or does can ever change it. And if you tried to talk to him and he found out I was working for your mother at the Crane Mansion, I don't even want to think about what would happen. Uh -uh. Well, I appreciate you two warning me about Luis's bad temper, but I'm a lawyer. I'm pretty good at getting my point across. But he won't even listen to you because your last name is Crane. And that's the part I have trouble with. Why does he hate my family so much? It, it goes way back, uh, I think. You know, you guys go ahead and work this out. I'm going to get something to drink. Does anybody want anything? No, thank you. Yeah, no, thanks. Okay. Thanks for the thought, Ethan. Please, leave it alone. Forget about talking to Louise. Why? What's in that living room? Mama dug up an old photo of you and me taken when we were about six or seven. In our Cub Scout uniforms. Where, where do you see it? Great. You can't go in there. <laughs> there is a gas leak. Gas leak? Yeah. Teresa was absolutely sure that she smelled it in here when we were here before. Um, can you and Hank check it out, please? Sure. I don't smell anything. Yeah, I know. That's what made Teresa so worried. Um, see, you know, it's very faint, but I definitely smell it. You know, I read a story about this whole house that blew up with the whole family in it, all because of a little tiny leak in the gas line. No, yeah, you're right. Better safe than sorry. Hank, can you go out front and check the meter? I'll yeah. work on the stove. I can't tell you how much your coming here means to me, Ethan. Luis is in the kitchen. He'll be in here any second. Well, good. It looks like Luis and I are going to have our little talk after all. No, no, you can't. Luis will lose it, and you'll wind up fighting. You've got to get out of here right away, please. No, he, he can't go out front. Hank is out there. Oh, my God. He has to hide somewhere. I'm not going to hide anywhere, Teresa. It's not my style. I believe in facing things head on. No, please, Ethan. I know you can hide in my bedroom. My, my bedroom. Your bedroom? It's the only safe place I can think of. Luis will never look in there. I'm sorry, my gas leak in here, Whitney. Maybe Teresa be more specific about uh, what she thinks she smelled. Ethan, for my sake, for my mother's sake. All right, but I don't like this. It's a uh, second door on your left. Please hurry. What a gas leak. Uh, well, when I saw Hank and Louise in the kitchen, I had to think of something to say. So I told him you smelled gas. Everything seems fine outside. Kitchen, too. There's no sign of a gas leak. What's going on around here, Teresa? Don't be mad at me, Luis. Now, who's mad? I just don't get why you told Whitney you smelled gas. Now, Hank and I checked and we couldn't find a trace anywhere. Oh. Oh. That's weird. I could have sworn I smelled something. But no harm done, right? I guess. Maybe I better check the gas valves just to be on the safe side. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Where are they? In the basement? No, they're in the back closet in your bedroom. Won't take me but a minute to check them out. 